somewhere in this great cathedral, the heart of darkness lay concealed. The city outside was in chaos, and the cathedral would not be immune for long. During such times, buried secrets were often suddenly revealed, or lost forever. I had seen this symbol throughout these ruins. I should have realized what it was they worshipped. Now there was no question, for this scene depicted the ancient vampire's torment and despair as their curse cast them from the wheel of fate. So this was the god whose abandonment had driven them to madness and suicide. Finally, I understood. It was not the bloodthirst, but their immortality that was the true nature of their enemy's curse. The wisest, strongest, most noble race, gulled by the voice of that old parasite. But I had seen him, and whatever he was, he was no god. As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the original Energy and Time Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of Earth with which their principles were aligned. The banished race foretold a hero who would deliver them from their oppressors and destroy the shackles of the vampire's tyrannous god, the same hero that bore the flaming sword. What game was this? where every player on the board claimed the same pawn. So, Raziel, your true nature is finally revealed. You were never the vampire's savior. It is to the Hilden race you belong. And when Cain realizes this, what do you think he will do? Hashakik, we hear you. We tremble and we obey. We offer this sacrifice upon the altar of the world. The blood of our firstborn to be sacrificed to you. In the depths of Avernus Cathedral, I stumbled upon a bloody ritual. Was this the source of the corruption that had overtaken the city? May this blood nourish you for all eternity. The wrath of Hashagik has once more been averted. Depart now, as ever, in his service. We tremble and we obey. Praise to Hashagik and ever praise. Hashagik, Hashagik, Hashagik. What was it that these deluded humans worshipped with such fervor? Was this the dreaded unspoken that Vorador had warned me about? Whatever so-called god inhabited this hideous pit, I was about to meet it. Smell no blood. Throat cut first, blood gouting, then it falls into the pit. The sacrifice is rejected. You will know my wrath. Not possible. No. It could not be. Stand away, monster. No. That voice. Not possible. I know that voice. But he fell. The abyss. He ended there. 
I did not fall into the abyss. Oh, it remembers that, does it? I was thrown in by my own brethren. I heard what you did to them. And now, you have found me at last. Terrell! <laughs> Terrell! Yes, that was my name then. The others were grotesque, but... Yes, I am changed. I have become a god. Greater than you ever were, Raziel. You were never a god. Greater even than Cain! It is to you that these humans offer their blood sacrifices? Hush a geek! Hush a geek! Yes. But how did this happen? I was summoned. There was darkness and great hunger. And then I was found. Why do you stay in this terrible place? Why stay? Would I remain if I could get out? While they hound me and tear at me and... <coughs> the hour is at hand, as it was foretold. Terrell? We use his voice to command the disciples above. We demand offerings to keep the host alive. He has been a durable vessel, but he can take us no further. You must prevail. The champion of our enemy draws near. No! I must have blood! Bring me blood! Or feel the wrath of your god. You! Yours! Yes, it will strengthen me against them. What are you doing? No. No more questions. No more worship. Time to run. Time to scream. Time to die. Yes, now. Set for the grand finale, you will have your vengeance. Mortanius! So, you have come out into the open at last. The binding must be fragile indeed. But you will find you are too late. What am I too late for this time? No, no, not now. Uh. You are too late for the victory you sought. I have beaten you after all. You have mistaken my identity. Have I? You forget who schooled me in the ancient prophecies. Uh, 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 this vessel speaks truly. You are indeed overdue. But it no longer matters in the least. With or without you, we will prevail. So? I finally meet the unspoken, and here it is, nestled in the heart of the circle itself. Ironic. <laughs> Poetic justice. To topple the foundations of the pillars from within. We shall have our revenge in full measure and for all time. 
Ah, this one has little strength left. One must not break him. Your kind does not like to lose. I seek the heart of darkness. Ah, now you think of that. But as I told you, you are too late. The heart has served its function. I have used it to set prophecy in motion. I created the champion foretold by my masters, who is destined to be your destroyer. The Scion of Balance will save Nosgoth. The Pillars will return to vampire guardianship as intended, and your race will be cast down forever. Cain! You use the Heart of Darkness to create Cain! How else? I refused at first to believe the ancient myths. I thought the vampires were simply a plague upon mankind, a pestilence we had to control. But they were right, and we were wrong to overthrow them, Mobius and I. We didn't understand what it was the Pillars were holding back. I have made my atonement. I will continue to make it to the end, which will be soon now. But I know Cain will set it right. He will restore balance. And none too soon. My enemy is growing stronger. Where is the Heart of Darkness now? Did you destroy it? <laughs> You still don't understand, do you? You cannot make use of it as long as Cain guards it with his life. Cain has it. It is in Cain. Check and mate. This deed will redeem first me and then all, Nosgoth. It must. It. Uh, 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 this one grows weak, but we will soon have a stronger vessel. The long-awaited hour approaches. Our release is at hand. <gasps> I must finish it.